So now that we've gone through a very basic Midas setup, we're going to explore some of the options that exist on the parent controls. So we'll work with position as the next option in the effect controls, but we're obviously going to want some position keyframes to work with. So I'll go back in time and uh, maybe maybe do a little bit of an animation uh, here. Actually, why don't we uh, turn off scale? So I'll go back and just uh, undo these keyframes for now. Uh, and no worries about the expressions. They'll just kind of hang out. Um, I guess for right now. So we'll animate some 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 cool little uh, animation on our position that looks really nice. And you're going to see that our children layer is also being affected at the same time. So even though these are linear keyframes, it's still kind of nice to be easily able to link up and control your children. But there's a lot more power uh, hidden in this effect control. So uh, once again, you have your delay option that you can go through to and uh, also keyframe, I should mention, you can keyframe any of the Midas properties for a ton of really cool uh, advanced uses that we'll cover uh, once again in later streams. Uh, but you can set up your delay and uh, get your nice little stagger, whatever it might be, across your children. So this is kind of nice if you only wanted uh, synchronized animations, but luckily we have a ton of modules to shape your animation into a lot more than just that. If you click down into drag, you're going to see we can enable it and also go through this uh, seed here. You're not gonna see any changes if you're after your keyframes, but if you go to where your animation is happening, you can go through your seed and seeing and see, you can go through your seed and see that there's a ton of different easing types that are actually being applied to your children layers. So uh, that means that you might have one animation, but you could easily toggle your seed and get a ton of endless variations. So this is really nice when you have a more complex scene uh, and need to iterate motion designs very quickly. Um, drag is really, really fun. So we'll turn that option off for now just so it's easier to see what the other tools are doing and take a look at this scatter option. So all of these modules exist on all the other kind of effect control layers, but uh, sometimes you'll have a three-dimensional property, a two-dimensional property, or one-dimensional property. So the scatter might look a little bit different, but it's essentially the same thing. So once again, we're going to go and enable our scatter system and we're going to go through our seed. Uh, nothing's happening here because we haven't set up an X and Y, X and y uh, minimum and maximum value range. So what scatter does is what the name implies. It scatters the value for the designated controller, so position of the children layers in whatever range you set. So I'm going to go to this X range here and maybe turn my my number down to negative 110 and I'll turn it up to uh, 113. So I can go through the seed and get some random new starting values for that X range and I can go and keyframe this if I wanted to. I could keyframe any of these options um, or I could go and set up also stuff on the Y. So I now basically have new starting positions um, bas through basically just through an apparent layer with all this delay control added to the children. So what's great about Midas is I could still go to the children and animate each of these properties uh, in their own way. Obviously, you don't have access to expressions in the same way, but you can still work with uh, whatever kind of easing or uh, types that you want to easing types that you want to do or keyframes you want to add. So uh, once again, you have all these like relative kind of synchronized delays and and all this stuff that you can interact and change and you know get crazy with. So we'll go again and uh, keep kind of exploring what this panel has to offer and turn off scatter for the moment. Uh, and I might actually remove this wonderful uh, keyframes that I added here. So we're going to go back to our parent and go down into this advanced setting. So we're going to have dynamics, global, and storage. Storage is literally a storage layer. Um, this is not too much fun, and I don't recommend uh, changing it because it's going to mess up a ton of stuff. But if you do want to get crazy, go ahead and play around. Uh, we'll go to the dynamics and turn this on. So uh, we're going to just preview this, and even though we have keyframes, uh, our animation is going to kind of continue, uh, but it's not really our animation at this point. It's a dynamics animation. So what we can do is turn up our amount and get larger values applied to our dynamics, and this works, again, for any kind of property you can imagine. And you can create this cool little, like, flocking system and turn up or down your frequency um, and get like some kind of crazy animation like this, or you can turn it much farther down to like 0.5 and get a nice little
little soft animation. So this dynamics module becomes really, really powerful when you actually keyframe your amount up or down on top of other animations. It can add a ton of, ton of cool little animation subtleties uh, that would be a ton of keyframes and work to actually create. So that's the dynamics module. I'm a huge fan of it and there's a ton of cool examples that we'll get into, uh, but not right now. So I'll turn down off dynamics. We'll go to our global layer and this is going to be a little toggle that you can click to ignore the parents uh, global influence. So if you do want to not have that zero effect on one of your effect controls, you can click ignore and get the zero. So that is basically an overview of some of the general modules in the Midas parent. We're going to take a look at what the children um, effect controls can do. So the system is literally massive. Uh, you can work with it in a basic sense, or you can build out these super complex and cool relationships in tons of awesome ways. So since we have a position keyframe already in place, we're going to continue working with position. We'll go into our children and uh, look at some of the options we have. We have this enable button, so we can turn this on or off, and that just means that it's either being affected by the Midas parent or not. Um, obviously we do, and then you can also go and change um, some additional delay on top of the system for an individual layer. So that's really nice when you're not having exactly the relationship you want. You can tweak it and keyframe it if you do want to. So there's also this really awesome module down here called Magnetism. Magnetism can change the influence that the keyframes of the parent have to the children in a percentage manner. So uh, just like we had uh, like a delay of zero is exactly the relationship to the parent. 100% of the magnetism is 100% of the parent's keyframes. So what's great about these percentages, if we enable uh, magnetism, is that these can go up to 9,999 or negative 999, and you have access to X, Y, and Z, or a global for all three if you have mirrored enable. So this is, again, probably a lot to take in at once. Um, so we're going to try to keep this example really basic, but it's still probably a bit. So we have this system that is being affected by the parent. And once again, if you look at what the shape of the parent is doing, maybe I should turn on the, the parent global to zero so we can see exactly how everything is working. And right now, this is what the animation is. If we go to one of the children layers and mess with magnetism, I'm going to turn my X intensity down to zero. So I want none of the influence of the parent onto my child. So this means right now that I'm going to have the influence of the Y value of the parent, but not the X value. So maybe on the Y intensity, I would like 300% of the influence of the parent's keyframes onto this children or this child. Um, so there we go. Now we have this kind of relationship. So if I go back to my parent Midas and disable this, I have a delayed system uh, with a magnetized value relationship to the parent. So as you can see, you can start designing these insane systems uh, in pretty easy ways. Uh, so what's nice about this is once you've built out your system, it's really easy to only have to change one set of keyframes and see just basically how your system reacts because now you have a totally different kind of relationship. So uh, this is not the most splendid animation, but I hope you hope this gives you an idea of the modules inside of Midas and how Midas kind of works. Um, anyway, we'll take a look at another tool next. Uh, thanks for watching.